incorporation or the application of the Bill of Rights to the states has actually been limited. While most rights have been incorporated, the Third Amendment has never been incorporated. Now, this doesn't mean that states are going to be able to quarter soldiers in private homes during peacetime. It just means that there's never been a court case about this. So the Supreme Court has not had the opportunity to say that it applies to states. The Seventh Amendment, this is our right to a jury trial in civil cases, actually just has not been incorporated. Why? Well, impaneling a jury is expensive and time consuming, and it would just be impossible to state level, given that states hear the majority of civil cases, for this to be incorporated. It would slow down the system, which is already slow, so much and cost so much money of states that it would just be not at all feasible. Now, the Eighth Amendment, our right against excessive bail and fines, this also has not been incorporated, but it may be getting there. In fact, New York state judges are writing decisions that explicitly bring up cash bail and state the cash bail may be an unconstitutional, uh, uh, unconstitutional because it may be excessive bail. So these cases, as they get appealed, it is possible that the Supreme Court could take them up and because of the language in the judge's decisions, they could then engage with it and incorporate the Eighth Amendment right against excessive bail and possibly against excessive fines.